So now we're going to be talking about alkene reactions. So these are reactions dealing with double bonds and specifically we're going to be dealing uh, a couple with Markovnikov addition. All right, so we'll see what that is right now. All right, so the first reaction is reacting this alkene uh, with HBr. And we'll see that the Br goes on the secondary carbon and that's exactly what Markovnikov addition is. It goes on to the most stable one. Right? and it's due to the carbo cation. Okay, so we'll see how the reaction actually works uh, with the me mechanism below. All right, so what happens here is this double bond will react with HBr like that. Then we'll see that we'll have a carbo cation right there. And notice here we have three hydrogens. Remember we had two before and we added one right there. And because this Br is all by itself, it's a Br minus, and now what will happen is it'll just react like that. And that's how we'll get our product right there. All right, so the thing to remember is that it's Markovnikov, so that's spelled like this, Markovnikov. So what Markovnikov addition is, is that it specifically chooses the most stable carbocation. So in this case, it's secondary because secondary is greater than primary, uh, but if there's a tertiary, we would see a shift um, and we'll see that tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary. So now similar to the, the previous one, we're going to see a reaction of H2O um, and also this same alkene molecule. And we'll see that the OH goes like goes right there and it's similar to before. Um, and the reaction is, is, the mechanism is almost exactly identical. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to react this um, H+, plus, and this H+, plus can come from stuff like H2SO4, HCl, um, and so that H+, plus can react, um, it can react with the double bond forming the carbocation right here, um, and what's going to happen is that this H2O is going to attack right there, and we're going to have um, a positive charge on the O, um, and, and like you can think of before, uh, we're going to have um, a hydrogen deprotonation, all right, so then we're going to form that product up there. All right, so and just like before, this is Markovnikov addition. Um, it's adding the OH not on the primary but on the secondary, so the more substituted. So remember before I said that if there was a tertiary carbon, we would see um, a hydride shift and we could have rearrangement so the carbocation will go from the secondary carbon to the tertiary carbon. Well now oxymerc demerc, so oxymercuration and demercuration is a reaction where there is no rearrangement. And so our product is going to be simply this. Right? So uh, previously we would see that the OH would probably be somewhere around there. It would be right here on the tertiary carbon, uh, but we'll see why that's not the case. So what happens is we're going to get this reaction right here. So this is going to form a three-membered ring, um, and we're just going to react the water like so. And a couple reactions later, we're going to get the OH, and that will fall off and just be a hydrogen. Okay? Um, so the important part of this reaction is that there's going to be no rearrangement. So we're not going to see any rearrangement whatsoever. Um, but it's still going to be a Markovnikov addition. We still see this OH on the secondary rather than the primary carbon. Um, but we're not going to see any hydride shifts. If we were to contrast that to a reaction like this, like we saw before with H2 and H plus on this carbon, uh, we would see that there would actually be a hydride shift. So what's going to happen, um, and there's going to be a rearrangement. So what's, what's going to happen is um, we're going to get a carbocation right here, all right? and we have a hydrogen right here, we're going to see a hydride shift. Okay, so now this carbocation is more stable, and now the, the water will react with the tertiary carbon to get it like that. Okay, but in oxymerc, demerc, we're not going to see any type of hydride shift like this, so uh, we're not going to have any rearrangement. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you like our videos, be sure to check out our website, mcatforme.com. The videos accompany our free MCAT course syllabus for a three-month study plan. We have the books you should use, the homeworks to do, videos to watch, and chapters to read. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll have new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thank you.